Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to change the wheels on your car. This is something that I get asked to do on a pretty frequent basis and also I get a lot of requests on how to do this so figured uh, no better time than the present to walk you through it. Uh, the first thing you want to do is find a source photo that's the similar angle of your car. It just makes things a lot easier. I went online and found this car. Always been a fan of the RX-7s and I've actually always been a fan of the CCW wheels. So kind of wanted to see what they look like on my car. So felt like it was a it was a perfect image to use. Whoever's photo this is, good job, nice looking car. Um, but I'm going to borrow your wheels. Here is kind of the final, just to get an example of what we're going to do. But I'm going to walk you through exactly how to do that. So the first thing you want to do is open the other photo. You click your move tool or this four-sided arrow up here and just drag it over to your other photo. If you hit shift, it puts it in the middle. The colors are probably different, so you'll probably get these warnings. And then you want to try to find the best source image you can with the highest resolution. This one was pretty small, but the good thing about Photoshop is, especially the newer Photoshops, is they're really good at scaling photos and keeping the definition and resolution. So you can see it's kind of pixely now, but as soon as you hit enter, everything kind of clears up. So let me turn this bottom layer off. And then what you want to do is the third tool down, which is your select tool. This, we're going to use the, the lasso, and this is kind of a free drawing one. So you're just going to trace around it, trace around the wheels. It puts it on, a, it makes a selection, and if you hit Command J, that puts it on its own layer. So now you can see we have the front wheel, Then we'll just do that same thing with the back wheel. So we'll select on the layer. Again, we have our lasso tool and we'll just draw a selection around that right there. And then we'll hit Command J again. And again, that put that on its own layer. So we'll start off by working on the front wheel. So let's turn that on. And we're gonna zoom in here a little bit. So clicking our Move tool, we're gonna position the wheel pretty close to where it would live. We're going to bring the opacity down so we can see the layer underneath it. Now this wheel has the chrome lip and what we're going to do is we're really going to focus on keeping the rim and we're not going to worry about keeping the tire. We're going to keep our stock tire and just change out the face of the rim. So what we want to do is we want to hit Command T which allows us to transform and we're just going to start pulling these boxes here until we get it to line up with our stock, our stock wheel. And then we can pull up. And as you can see here, if I really zoom in, you can see how the lip of the tire is a little bit off here. So the angle is just a little bit different. So we're gonna hit the command key and we're gonna click and drag this. That's going to allow us to change the shape of the wheel to fit a little bit better to that bottom image. And then same thing down here. So we're going to click and then drag in. And we'll make this a little bit wider here. And I think we're pretty good there. So let's go ahead and bring the opacity all the way back up and we'll hit enter to commit that transformation. So the next thing we want to do is go down, grab our mask tool. We're just going to click on that. Then we're going to get our paintbrush. Make sure black is our foreground color. We want our opacity all the way up, our flow all the way up, and we want our hardness all the way down because we're going to blend this into the tire underneath. So with all of that selected and our mask selected, we're just going to paint black on that mask. 
can hide the the old the tire from the RX7 and also let our tire shine through. And we'll just go around and paint all that unwanted unwanted parts of the image out. All right, so there we go. And now we'll do the back wheel. So same steps. We are going to click V or grab our move tool. We're going to make sure we're selected on the layer. And we're going to pull that down to about where it lives. We're going to lower the opacity just a little bit. And we're going to line this up. And hit Command T again. And on this one, I'm holding down Command because I want to get the bottom to come out a little bit so the top stays where it's at. And we're going to pull in here a little bit. I think we might be pretty close. Let's give that a go and see what it is. So we're going to hit Enter to apply that transformation. We'll grab our mask tool. We'll go back to our brush tool. And then same thing as the front, we're just gonna paint black on that mask to hide all of these, all of the parts of the image that we don't want. And then we'll just zoom out. So that's the basics of putting the wheels on the car. Another thing that I did with the previous image, if you notice we have a blue reflection in the hoops and the faces of the wheel because it was taken from a blue car and it was reflecting it down. If you wanna get rid of that, what you can do is you can double click these two layers, put those layers in a group and then above that, we're going to make a hue and saturation adjustment. If you come over here and right click on that, we want to click Create Clipping Mask. Now what that's going to do is that's going to apply this transformation just to that wheel group. And then what you can do is this image is pretty easy because my car is just really silver and Basically what all I have to do there is just pull down on the saturation and it gets rid of that blue cast. Another way that you can do that is you can go into here where it says master and then you can affect individual color channels. So if you go to the blues, you can do the same thing and just pull down the saturation of the blues. Or you can also mess with a different color. So let's say I had a green car. I could push that saturation of the blue, bring that down a little bit, and then actually change that reflection to green to make it look a little bit more realistic. And same thing with, you know, red, orange, whatever color your car might be. And then you just need to play with the opacity to make sure that it matches your car. But like I said, for this image, because we have a silver car and silver wheels, we just need to get rid of that blue. So I think that's pretty... That's pretty much all there is to it to change the wheels. You can see before and after. And like I said, you can kind of see that this was a lower resolution photo. So you want to try to get the, the best resolution that you can when doing something like this. And this isn't really going to be for high-end retouching or anything like that. I think this is more just for visualization of what new wheels may look like. So hope you like the video. If you have any 
questions or comments, leave them below. Also, if you have any suggestions for future videos, um, I'd love to hear them. Take care.